Elijah Muhammad. It was Elijah Muhammad who made Malcolm. Right. It was Elijah Muhammad who made Wallace D. Right. It was Elijah Muhammad who made Louis Farrakhan. Yes, sir. It is Elijah Muhammad making all of us who are shining out today, yes, we sir. can't take any credit for who we are. Yes, sir. We have to give the credit where it rightfully belongs. Well then, if a man has done so much for us, then my desire and your desire should be to help him yes. do the job that God put on him. Yes, sir. Master Farad Muhammad said to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, according to what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said to us, he said, brother, you have the hardest job of any man who ever lived. I mean, just think about that. There's been a lot of men who worked mighty works since this earth has been in existence. And yet the best knower said that Elijah Muhammad had the hardest job of any man that ever lived because he had the job of raising a dead nation and taking us from nothing and making a new people and then a new world out of a people who had been made into nothing. With the most powerful enemy in the last 6,000 years as his opponent, that's a pretty rough job. Then Elijah Muhammad set about to get helpers. And Malcolm was one of his great helpers. But a helper. Malcolm didn't know anything about how to wake you up. Right. Malcolm didn't know anything about an ex. <laughs> until he met a man taking names. And that man took the name Little and gave him an X. Yeah. Thus Malcolm X was born. Yes, sir. Remember that, brothers. Remember that, sisters. Elijah Muhammad was taking away slave names, which some of you still have. So it's good that you wear the X cap it's better that you get the real X. Yes. <laughs> the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was looking for help with this hard job. When a man got a job and he's looking for help, you can't come to that man and tell him how to do his job. <laughs> You met him already on the job, so that man has to tell you how to help him. Yes, right. Right. If you meet me and I got this rostrum and I'm picking it up, don't tell me to put it back down. You show me how to pick it up better. I got it up. Grab a corner of it. Yes. Make it easier for me. Yes. But let me tell you what corner to grab. Yes. Since I'm the one that know where the strain is. Yes. Malcolm didn't teach Elijah Muhammad. When Malcolm met Elijah Muhammad, Elijah Muhammad had black folk awakening. He needed a good helper. And Malcolm was an excellent vehicle, an excellent helper. The enemy is always trying to take good help away from a good man. Have you noticed in every country on earth, particularly third world countries, when we produce brilliant men and women, foreign governments come and suck them right up, 
take them out of their country, promise them all kind of uh, perks and wealth. It's called brain drain. All our brilliant black brothers and sisters, they're not working for you. Our brilliant brothers and sisters are sitting over in corporate America. Because they make use of our brains, but they don't use our brains for our liberation, our development, our betterment. They use the power of our minds to keep a world going that denies us justice. Right. Elijah Muhammad wanted help to produce a world of our own. Malcolm came forward. And Brother Lewis came forward. And you came forward. And many came forward. But you know the scripture says many are called. But just a few are chosen. I was visited by a man this week uh, who came with the son of one of the presidents of an independent government in Africa. And that man saw me when I first came into the FOI. He was there to welcome me into the FOI. Saw me as the tears rolled down my eyes as I made my first little talk in front of the FOI. He heard what I said to the FOI. And I told the FOI, there was only about 60 or 65 men at that time in New York City, but I told them that I would take this word of Elijah Muhammad to every nook and cranny of America. I said that October 1955. Now I'm doing what I said, making my word bond. Yes. That man came and sat with me in the home of Elijah Muhammad and he knew how I began. He saw me begin. Now many people say many things, but very few do what they say. That's right.